Yeah, so f first and foremost, uh, really disappointing to have lost on Saturday. Uh, was really, really irritated with the first half performance. Um, as I said, with, with any loss, I take full responsibility for selection, um, for shape, all the various bits that go with being a manager. What I don't take responsibility for is the ease at which people got off shoulders in the box, how, uh, how easy we were to play behind. Um, our recovery running at times by one or two uh, was completely unacceptable and they were told that at half time and as I said to them at half time uh, we made a shape change which you know as a manager that's my job but ultimately on the on the actual way that the game had gone we spoke in depth and I said to the players you know I always say to them I don't want coroners I want paramedics I want players that are prepared to do do things about it not come in at half time with loads and loads of, to say um, I would say do you do you talking on the field so we made a change uh, unfortunately it was our second change of the game one enforced uh, and one through choice. Uh, sadly, we've lost Liam McCrowan now for what I would imagine is the majority of the end of the season uh, through a hamstring injury. Um, that again was, was completely avoidable in the, in the build-up to it from, uh, from our own, own doing and he ended up having to recover, uh, which unfortunately has, has led to him um, damaging his hamstring and we're gonna miss him massively. Um, but ultimately, for, from our perspective, I thought the second half performance was excellent. I thought we had uh, new salamis you know, in real trouble for a period of the game. Uh, we came out with a real aggressive front foot intent, went after them, which is exactly what we spoke about before the game, but I thought we pressed the game really well. We had numerous chances, got a goal back through Rommel, excellent persistence from him. I was really pleased with the way that he played. Um, and then at 2-1, you know, we were really on the ascendancy. Unfortunately for us, um, when you play a side of that quality, uh, Derek Asamoah gets one chance in the second half and, and buries it, and then 3-1, to be fair to the lads, we kept going, we kept going, you know, we never never threw it in. Um, unfortunately for us, I thought New Salami's game management, to be fair to them, was very, very clever, very, very good. Um, they had the longest bootlace time I've ever seen in my life that wouldn't have looked out of place in a nursery. Um, consistently, you know, taking time to take throw-ins. I felt maybe the officials could have been a little bit stronger on that, um, but I'm certainly not going to put it down to, to them. And uh, credit to Salami's, they, they held out, they, got the 3-1 win and to be honest with you, when you play a side of that calibre, if you don't turn up for 45 minutes, you, you rightfully get punished and in all fairness to Salamis, we, we were lucky to go in two down at half time, uh, despite us hitting the post and having numerous set pieces. So loads of lessons to learn, um, a real wake up call for, for quite a few of the group, but credit to the players, they, they came out second half and, and really went with another intent. So we have to park that now, move on um, and get ready for what's going to be a tough game, tough league game on Saturday to get our league form back up and running. Yes, yeah, so Aussie on Tuesday, uh, completely the polar opposite to the first half that we had against um, New Salami on Saturday. I thought we, we were excellent, really happy with the overall performance. I think we lost a little bit of control in the second half for a sort of about a 15 minute window when, when Aussie got, got a goal back. Um, to equalise, uh, but from, from my perspective, I thought we created several good chances in the first half. Uh, it was a really competitive game, like both games have been prior to it against Alzi. Um, a few streetwise players from, from Alzi, to be fair, they got some really good players, as I said, at the front end of the pitch that can, that can score goals. And I thought our lads, you know, with a lot of changes to the, to the side, a lot of lads who've been really patient, like Joe Palmley, uh, Rory Mills, um, Kelvin Osayado, you know, all had really excellent performances and I was, I was over the moon with that and uh, I don't think I've ever been happier to see somebody score a goal than I was for Kelvin. Um, a lot of eyebrows were raised when I took him, you know, we, we were quite honest about that and I'm glad I went with my hunch because we, we've got a really excellent player in, in Kelvin. Uh, we've just got to get him, you know, fitter, keep him fit. Um, a little bit like Joe Mead, if we can keep him fit, then you know we've got two outstanding additions to the, to the squad, especially now having lost Liam McCrowan. So overall, really pleased. Um, good to win a game on penalties. Gives us another game later on in the season against Ardley um, on the Thursday the 21st. So from, from my perspective, really, really pleased with the, with the win overall. Again, always bits you can do better, but I thought our intensity, the way we went about our business on Tuesday was, was, was really, really good. So overall, very pleased and a great reaction to obviously a disappointing result on Saturday. Yeah, so as I mentioned earlier, we've, we've lost Liam. Um, we will hopefully have him back before uh, before the end of the season. Um, as I said, he's been excellent for us. You know, we're really going to miss him. 
uh, from other injuries, so we're hopeful to have Jammers back for Saturday. We've really missed his voice, his presence and his influence in the middle of midfield. Uh, Joe Sellers-West, we will assess tonight to see if he's going to be fit for Saturday. Um, but at the moment, as I said, we, we're in a position where I can't really complain too much because we've been quite fortunate that we haven't sustained too many injuries up until now. So it's tested the squad a little bit. Um, Great selection headache for us to have on, on Saturday with regards to so many positive performances from the lads on Tuesday. So that's a real headache for me at the moment as to what 11 we're going to start with. I'm still not entirely sure. I'm almost there, uh, but certainly we'll have a look at training tonight and see where we're at. Uh, and from that perspective, obviously, we've got a tough one on Saturday. We've also got a, a seven day um, in for a, an experienced player at this level that we feel will add to the group for this season and next season. So hopefully be able to finalise that one over the weekend and, and uh, be able to get him in for, for next week. Uh, I'm not going to go into too many details around that player at, at, at present. I think you know we'll, we'll wait and see when we get it over the line and then we can, we can announce it. So other than that, squad's looking pretty healthy, uh, ready for Saturday and, and what's going to be a real tough game. Yeah, so back to league, league action, uh, non-league day on Saturday, which we're really pleased about. Um, hopefully get a really good crowd there. Uh, I know from the club's perspective, it's a pay what you want on the gate, which will be good to get, get some supporters coming around. Uh, we've had some excellent support since we've been here. Attendance has continued to creep up, which is great. And hopefully have a, have a bumper crowd here on Saturday. Leverstock themselves um, have had a, had a good season. Uh, they, they sit seventh, so it's another real tough examination for our lads. And uh, what we need to make sure we do, having come off the back-to-back -back losses, is we need to make sure that we, we set, a, set a precedent on Saturday and get ourselves back to, back to winning ways. That's not going to be easy. We've seen Leverstock a few times. Um, like every, everyone at this level, they've got strengths and key areas of the pitch. Uh, and it's down to us to really, to really back up what we saw on Tuesday, back up what we saw for 55 minutes against Hadley, and back up what we saw for 45 minutes against New Salamis. And we have to get our, our game right on Saturday. It certainly won't be a case of just turn up for 20 minutes and hope it's going to be enough. That, that won't be tolerated. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it, looking forward to getting back to home in front, in front of our supporters for the league on Saturday. Uh, and hopefully it will be, as I said, a, a good crowd and a, and a positive result come five o'clock on Saturday.